Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a get rid with me. Um, I just wanted to like sit down, talk a little bit about next year and just do my makeup and you actually seem to enjoy my get rid with me. So I don't know why though because I don't know. But here we go again, and I really hope that my battery on the camera will not die, because... Yeah. I am so thinking about buying an extra battery for my camera, but at the same time I want to buy a new camera, so it feels dumb to like buy a battery for this camera and then I'm going to buy a new camera. But I have thought about this for like a year and nothing of that has happened yet, so... Okay, so I am going to use my shades from Lethal. I have these shades, I can leave my first impression up here. I want to use these shades so much more than I do, but I don't know what to do. So, like in a Get Red With Me, I feel that I can use them because then it's not like evolving around the makeup. But I will try to remember to write all the shades I've used down in the description. So, is there anything special I want to talk about in this Get Red With Me? Yes, it is. Uh, I want to talk about next year a little bit. Just to like have a short briefing with you. Do you even say that? I don't know. But there is I don't really know what to do with my channel next year. <laughs> I am one of these persons that I like to start new things at New Year's. Um, I just do and I... It feels like I need to do something. Because right now it feels like my channel is like standing still and has done it for a while. It growed like insane this summer, but then it just like died. I don't want like a super big channel and I don't think that the subscribers are the most important thing in the world or not like... The subscribers is important, but not like how many. I have talked about this before, but it feels like it's like confirmation that you're doing something right. And don't. I love all of you that are subscribing to me and that are commenting and supporting me, but it would be fun to grow a little, but. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, and I I don't care about that. But for next year, I want to do like more. I want to make, or I want to be better at planning things for my channel. And for doing that, I don't know if I should maybe change my schedule or do new kinds of videos or what I'm going to do I actually don't know but I have <laughs> wrote down some things that I like thinking that I maybe want to do next year and one thing that I have started a little bit is I have done a little basket and this is my basket with palettes I am going to do something with. Um, so we have like a first impression, free looks one palette, first impression and a first impression and I want to like switch these up and only do things with the palettes in this and now I'm doing something with the palette that has not been in that one but like to have a little bit more planning because sometimes I just really feel that I want to film something but I don't know what and then I can just go to my basket and do it and what I put in my basket it's 
outfit looks for on palettes I'm going to do. Maybe if I want to do a palette bingo or a first impression or something. I think I will continue with it. I have had it for a couple of weeks now and I think it worked pretty good for me. It feels at least like I have a little bit more control of what I'm doing. Maybe not, maybe I do. I don't know. And also I want to next year to play more with the things I already have in my collection. And I know that some people maybe hate that, but it feels like I have palettes that I really really love but like I never use because it feels like you need to use new things all the time but I am not like a review channel and I am not like this oh look at me I got the new things I got the new things I got the new things I'm not a channel like that and I don't want to be that either but at the same time not everybody wants to see things with older palettes. But at the same time, this is my channel and if I want to do it, I should. Me and Jessica has talked about this. A little bit what you want to do and what you're doing on your channel. And... I like... I want to do what I want to do, but I also want to do what you want to do, what you want to see. And if you maybe can help me with what I should do. Okay, this feels so, like, confusing. I maybe just should talk about something else. But yeah, I want to do... Play with some of the things I already have. But of course, buy new things as well. So, I don't know. Do you want to have like maybe a video per month where I do something with a palette that I already have in my collection? And maybe an older palette? I don't know. Would that be fun? Or would it be like... No. And I also had like one idea that I'm going to use all the palettes in my collection. And do at least one look with them. And that it has to be like a year. Or maybe longer. And... Project. But I would love to do like... I have done something with all... Of the palettes I have. Like a palette bingo with all the palettes I have. That would be so fun to have done. But at the same time, I have some palettes that were limited edition and are not available anymore. And I got at least some neutral palettes. So I don't know what I want to do with that. It was just like an idea I had that I want to do something with all the palettes I own. Okay, this shade is so nice. I don't know the name of it though. And it feels like I want to do like a really shimmery look, but I actually want to go in with something darker in my outer corner. It feels like I've done this look before. This. But it has been so much green. And like blue and somewhat purple on my channel and I'm like, okay, I'm going back to what I love the most. And another thing I would love to do more next year is collabs. Now, in I follow a lot that has done like putting up a video per day in December, and it has been a lot of collabs in my feed. And I am like, I want to do more collabs as well because I think it's so fun to do collabs. One thing I don't like with doing collabs though is. I hate to write like on Instagram with people that has English as their native language because 
I can speak English and I can write in English, but it doesn't feel like when I'm writing in English, it feels like I'm writing like a child and I hate. So if you have ever wrote to me and I answer like a short answer, that's because I am uncomfortable with writing in English. Um, just to know, so it's not just because I am a weird person, even though it's a little bit because of that, but I don't like to write in English because it, it doesn't feel like I'm good at it. So I'm sorry for all of you that have tried to rope me and I have like answer with short answer. That's why. Okay, I actually really like this. Okay, now you're soon going to hear my boyfriend making coffee. But soon I will do my base so I and take away the fallout so I can like pause this, do that and you can make your coffee and then why are we speaking English to each other? I don't know. Okay, so I will take away the fallouts and my boyfriend's coffee will be finished. It's a little bit of my fault because I bought a Christmas calendar, advent calendar with coffee for him. So he gets like four cups of coffee every day with that. Okay, so I will take away the fallouts and then we will do the base together because this is not a good red with me and I normally don't do my base with you but I am going to today so okay now maybe it's good to have my sponge as well so where was I uh, something else that I'm thinking about my foundation is like completely empty like completely empty maybe one more use of this out of this I can get uh, something else that I'm thinking about start to do again next year is new makeup releases I did that you know like these new makeup releases going on the wish list or not new makeup releases will I buy it and I did that, I think I've done like five of these and then I started my low buy and I was like um, it feels a little bit strange to do that when you are on a low buy even though it's not like a wish list, it's more like talking about new makeup releases but I don't know if it's my thing but I'm thinking about if I want to start do that next year again and it feels like you like my talk videos because they yeah you just seem to like them but if it's something you want to see because it is a much much work on those videos because you have to like the editing on those videos I hate it but I think I like to do them. And this year it has been like... It feels so... It feels like I really have changed my behavior. Maybe next year I'm going back to where I was last year. But within my low buy it feels like my behavior is a little bit... Like I've changed my behavior a little bit. I am planning on doing like an another get rid with me on and talking about how my low by year went because it's not over yet so I want to do that next year and one thing I am so looking forward to do is my haul. I haven't done a haul for a year. But I have some packages that hasn't arrived yet. I have one from my Arcana palette from Shroud Cosmetics, formerly known as uh, Strobe. Um, 
I'm waiting for that. I think that is in Stockholm. And I am also waiting on my Black Moon Cosmetics package and that is in Copenhagen I think or if it is I don't remember. One of the packaging is in Copenhagen and I am like why are you in Copenhagen? Okay, so I'm so looking forward to doing my haul video but it's going to take a little while because I really want to have all the things I bought this year in my haul video and I'm also waiting for a package from Colourpop that has... It took like two weeks before they send it out almost two weeks and I'm like what the fuck okay so now for my base I'm trying to do only cream things and I don't know because I have tried this before and it didn't went good so I will try this is a nip and fab contour stick I don't know how people do this. It feels like I can't do cream things. Now it's getting too far down. But it's like this. Okay, I can't... I don't know how to use these cream products the first time and then I'm like, I don't want to use it anymore, but I can't be better at it if I don't use it. So... But I just have... We have to go with it, and I'm going to try this over my blush. And I have seen a lot of people using a stippling brush for this, so maybe I should try this as well. And like, I have really missed doing hauls because I think it's fun, and it's like when I have done. I have done first impressions of almost all the palettes I bought this year. I have two left this far. It's going to be... F I have three left. Five left. Jesus. <laughs> it's going to be so fun to do a whole video because I miss them. Is that strange to say? And why can't I like even apply blush I don't know what is up with me doesn't feel like I know what I'm talking about I worked a lot today it's Friday when I'm recording this and I feel a little bit stressed over everything right now over work and my personal life and YouTube and why I am talking about things that I want to do next year I don't want to like it feels like I'm always getting a little like depressed and sad when I do make a dread with me, but okay, I I can take this. I can take this. I am doing a little bit more things at work that I am not supposed okay, supposed to. I am doing I got extra things to do at work now for like two months and I really love that I have this opportunity. But it has been that I have worked a little bit more uh, than I am supposed to do. And I am a little bit tired of the work because of that. And then... Okay, and what should I... Should I take another stippling brush? Should I take my finger? Or should I take... What? what should, should I take my sponge to do this? Yeah, okay, it's just like, it's much at work and now it's Christmas and I'm going to have a week off, almost a week off. I am working on Monday next week, the day before Christmas, and then I'm off rest of the week and then... I am going to work and I'm going to work the 1st of January and I start at 6 at 
o'clock. I am not going to drink on New Year's Eve because I do not drink alcohol, but it's just that I need to be up at five. And then I'm going, we are going away to my parents next week and I don't know when I'm going to have the time to film. Um, and it feels like I have a lot, a lot of videos to fit in now, in the end of this year. Like fa all my favorite videos, I haven't done them. This is shining through. And also... Yeah, I don't know what more it is. But like my low buy things, my low buy update. So yeah, I don't know. And now I'm sitting here doing my makeup on Friday night when I am supposed to be cleaning. But I'm saving that for tomorrow. Okay, this highlight. I need to use this highlight more. This is by Nabla. It's surreal. I don't remember what this is called, this stick, but I think they only have one, and this is like amazing. But right now, it feels like I'm in this good mood with my. Uh, with filming and everything, because I am. I want to try something new, and I want to try to film every day after work. And then edit. I don't know when I should have time to edit, but that is what I want to do right now. I want to try to film every day after work. And I I think I've done this this week. Maybe it's one day that I haven't, but that day I edit instead. Because I really need to have it powder under here. How is that going to go? Okay, we just go with it. I haven't set my... No, I didn't use a concealer, so yeah. I want to be better, like, planning and... I think I need to I don't even know what to say am I that tired maybe I am when I started to work at six o'clock in the beginning I was so good to go to bed earlier but this week and the week before I have been so bad I have gone to bed so late so I have been so tired and as you may know, coffee maker. Um, this year I haven't drank any energy drinks, and I, that may be a good thing because energy drinks isn't maybe like the best thing. But I'm actually thinking to go back to energy drinks next year. Is that strange? Maybe it's like strange like my new year's resolution is to go back to drinking monster. But like I don't drink coffee and if you don't drink coffee and are tired uh, you're like screwed because I am not 18 years old anymore. I'm like so amazed if I think back how little I slept when I was younger, I don't know if I would survive on that little sleep now. It's like I've gotten old. It feels like I am all over the place in this get ready with me. Maybe this isn't even coming up. Um, now I think, now I'm going in with this one in my in the corner and it feels like I'm doing my first impression look with this once again I'm 
I'm just wondering if it was something else I wanted to talk about. Okay, one thing that I have been a little bit obsessed with, like the latest two weeks or something, is Project Pan. I've started to follow a girl on Instagram that does Project Pan and it feels so like... I feel satisfied when she like put up a picture on something she has panned and that is maybe a little bit crazy but I just feel like oh, oh I sprayed myself <laughs> instead of the brush but don't you worry because I will uh, not do a project pan but I like I want to try to pan something this year maybe a blush or a highlighter because I don't use that much different blushes or highlighters okay maybe highlighters but blushes I use maybe three different or something so if it looks like that I could easily pan a blush I think and I watch Paulina and she does this shop my stash and I really like those but I like don't wear makeup to work so for me to do a shop my stash feels a little bit not worth it okay I think I am done like this I will do something in my waterline and then the big question is am I going to take something green to match my inner corner or get something that match my lid? I think I will take get paid from Colourpop some of these are really really good some of them are a little bit more iffy about okay time for a mascara and I use this color pop and Jessica how can you love this I don't get it I don't hate it but it's not like the best mascara I have ever tried okay and for my lips I bought a new lipstick I have bought my first liquid lipstick from Fenty and this is not red. This is like brownish. Yes. I think I haven't tried it yet. It's underdog. Why, why do she does that? And I... <laughs> I don't know how this is. I know a lot of people love Fenty's liquid lipstick. I don't know. It looks a little bit weird, but okay, I'm going to try it. I don't like this applicator. Okay, this was like the hardest applicator ever. Or it's just because this is... I don't know. Okay, this was the hardest applicator I have ever worked with. No. It's like, I guess you know how it looks. But how the hell are you going to do a straight line with this? It is impossible. Okay, I, I, I want to take this off. Maybe I should go with an old trusty from... I don't know if I want a red actually. I think I maybe want to go with this maybe. I go with this. And this is Hanging Rock. This is my absolute favorite lipstick ever. Okay, what is up with my lip contour today? Why do I, why do I look like a crazy pant? I don't know. But okay, this is my finished get ready with me. My battery is almost dying, so I think I have to end this here. 
I hope you like this Get Red With Me and please tell me what you want me to do next year. Do you want me to do a new makeup releases videos or do you want me to... I don't know, just keep going like I'm doing or do you want me to do more of some of the things I'm already doing? Please let me know because I need some inspiration because I feel that I'm in a good filming mode but I just need more ideas. So yeah, and what the hell did happen here? I don't know. But I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I promise that I'm not like this confused all the time. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!